Hi everyone, welcome back to another video and previously I shared some renovation tips um, of the kitchen area as well as the service yard also regarding the corridor area so this time I'll be talking to you and sharing with you some renovation regrets and renovation tips of the living room area so before we dive in into today's video i'd like to introduce this website called home trust so basically it's a website that publishes the reviews of all the interior designers in singapore it features the top interior designers in singapore as well and as a matter of policy they actually do not remove any reviews be it positive or negative and they allow all homeowners opinions and views to be published in order to provide greater transparency in this industry and there are also negative reviews as well that are being published for the interior um, designers or firms so doing your research on all these reviews will definitely help you to reduce the chances of experiencing renovation nightmares so first up uh, what you all see over here is actually a stool that we actually get it from Shopee. It was actually an, an extra stool that we got because the other one has like a stain on it and we kind of like um, feedback to them and they gave us a new stool. And then the other thing that we purchased besides the sofa was this thing called the dupe bag. I think this is a very good purchase. It's actually meant um for uh, like a stool like a sleeping bag for my husband in his room but because his room has no space so we kind of like put it in the living room areas okay so let me show you how it works so basically it's like a bag so you can actually sit over here right and then also you can unravel it looks like a really huge dumpling so when you roll it out it becomes like a area where you can lie on and it's the thing is that it's very very comfortable and this is actually meant for outdoor use um so actually technically it's waterproof so it's perfect because my husband sweat a lot but if you are interested this is the dupe bean bag so this is quite a nice versatile bean bag that we got and i just don't know why but it's surprisingly comfortable so if you want to like um keep it so you just roll it up into like a dumpling and then there's a velcro over here that you can just stick over it so to be honest this is i think one of the best buy but at the same time um i i just wish that my husband didn't have bought it because we didn't plan for it to be in the living room but right now because it's in the living room so we just use it as a food stool okay over here you see is a like low sofa but we actually wanted a sofa that is raised so that we could actually do some sweeping and like house cleaning underneath the sofa um, this is actually customized we got it from love home same as our dining table um, one thing to note is that again love home get their stuff from Taobao so um, technically if you want a cheaper price you can get it from Taobao as well and it actually comes with the uh, cushion so I actually like that the cushion is the same color as the sofa itself so so far so good it's just that you can't really like dismantle the cushion for cleaning purposes and you have to kind of like vacuum it so for us, we feel that this is quite a good buy. I think the only qualms that one of the regrets that I didn't do was to actually kind of level the wall. But as you can see that the wall over there is not leveled. Um, to be honest, to me, it's a little bit of an eyesore, but if you can live with it, then it's fine. Okay, so moving on, we have our blinds over here. So I think the only regret is that it looks very nice aesthetically. However, um, do note that for Venetian blinds, right, when you want to pull open, it's going to take very, I mean, it's going to take a lot of strength to actually like open and close. As you can see, right, even when I pull up, the thing moves up very slowly and you need a lot of strength to kind of, kind of pull it down. So that's one thing I didn't really like it. Unless you, uh, you wouldn't mind leaving this like open most of the time like this half open where the um you know where the light can come in however the thing is that even if you open the window at the back the airflow is not that great because of this and this tends to get very dusty so um given a choice i would have probably gotten a blinds like those normal 
um, solid color blinds rather than these Venetian blinds. Okay, over here is our TV console. So one thing that you need to take note of when you're doing the renovation, even if you're doing like carpentry or if you're buying off the shelves, just to actually take note of the height between the floor to the um, power points here. So basically the height from the power point to the floor, I think it's about 40 cm uh, in height. So you need to consider as to whether you want the TV console to be above or to be lower. Of course, I think if it's lower, then it wouldn't like, you know, hit all these plugs. But at the same time, you will expose the plugs. So another way to avoid this is basically to get something higher. And then at the back, make sure there's that, like there's a hole, you know. So um, I would prefer this as it is just nice but even then i still have to leave a little bit of gap um, that's because of the wires here coming out and to be honest it's quite hard to get a very low tv console and the reason why we have the gap there is also due to the fact that we have a projector we have a short throw projector so we need to leave a certain amount of distance where from the power from the light source to the wall itself another thing to note is that your ID would have told you that it is better to install more plugs. So initially it was only four plugs, one, two, three, four. So we made another two more, if I'm not wrong, or was it two originally? I'm not too sure. Um, but as of now, looking at the current situation, you can see it's underused. Um, if I would have known about this, I would probably just get four. So this is one of the regrets. Um, it's very hard to plan PowerPoints, but of course they were saying that it's better to have more. Uh, I mean, this is not even used. So currently we are just using this for the Wi-Fi. And this one, I think is for the projector. And then this is for the doorbell. So as you can see, it is being underused. Right, so this is the TV console. So because our team is Wabi Sabi, so, and and we also want a little bit of the industrial minimalist look. So we kind of get this um, console that has this concrete feel and at the same time has this very raw wood feel. So this one actually not, is nothing much. Actually it just slides. It, does, it just basically cover a bit and maybe giving it some, I don't know, aesthetic look to the whole console. Um, that's that. And one good thing is that again, it's above the floor so we can actually just sweep underneath. But of course, it's a bit hard to do the mopping, but sweeping is good enough. Okay, on this console here, instead of getting a television, we decided to get a projector. And to be honest, this was also one of the best buys that we have. Um, it's JMGO. It's actually a China brand, but um, I think this is the most affordable short throw projector in the market right now because the most expensive one was is by Samsung, and one unit costs about probably four to six thousand. But we only got this for like thousand six. Um, they have different uh, models and we got the mid-range one. There is a cheaper one and there's also even a more expensive one. But because um, of the distance that we need to consider here, so this is the light source where it's going to project here. This is very important from the wall um, to the point. We need to take into consideration the distance. So I'm not too sure what is the maximum distance, but I think looking from the wall to this, it's probably about 35 cm. Okay, so I'm gonna power this on to show you guys how it works. So you're just gonna press and hold, and then here it goes. So definitely it's a different experience watching um, on screen um, as compared to uh, watching on television. So what you see now is that it's cast on the wall we, you can actually get a screen because actually technically we have some issues with our wall as well because apparently all the walls in our house is not flat even some of the flooring and the wall is also not flat as well so that's the issue but other than that in terms of resolution um, by this projector is very good and the sound system is really good as well so another thing about um connecting our living room to our dining room is this table over here dining area um, so in my previous video, I did share that this was also from Love Home and it's actually an extendable table from currently the length is about 1.2, which is great. Um, if you are staying in a four room flat, 
I also wouldn't recommend table length more than 1.4 because if it's 1.4, the area here is going to be very small. So 1.2 to 1.4 is perfect. Um, instead, get an extendable table or unless you know you plan to knock down one of the walls and to merge the rooms to the living room. If you do that, then perhaps you can get a longer dining table. Um, but for us, we get extendable one, so it's from 1.2 to 1.6. Okay, another renovation regrets of our living room is definitely the lighting system. The fan is great, it's by Funko, but in terms of the lighting system where we actually plan for a spotlight, track light, sorry. So, because we don't have actually a television here, right? Instead, we are using a projector. So ideally, we shouldn't put a track like there. Um, so we kind of, it's being underused. We don't really use it at all because of that. Um, in fact, we want to create a very dark environment. It would be nice to have some kind of a soft lighting, perhaps behind the um, sofa or some sort of that. Yeah, so I feel that in one of the, definitely one of the regrets or one of the things that I've learned is that um, Try not to get lightings that are too harsh or so, unless you want certain environments to be really bright. Um, it's also really nice to have options where the lighting is a little bit soft and not so harsh. All right, so that's it, folks. That's it for this video uh, of my living room. And um, because I didn't do any carpentry in my living room and dining room, so in terms of renovation tips, I could only give you in terms of the lighting system you have to really plan properly as well as the electrical system so i hope you enjoy this video and i'll see you in the next video bye